you can do all kind of fun things with signal handlers. So let's say, for example, this program. I run this program. It says to terminate it with control C and um, it's just counting uh, every second one number. And of course, as a program, I can just press control C as I was instructed and it will stop the program. Well, except that this just doesn't stop. It tells me to press control C again. So I do it again. And this time, because it was pressed twice, now the program exits. Normally a program would exit uh, the first time you print, press Ctrl C. So how was this done? Uh, you have to know that when, whenever you press Ctrl C, basically you're, you're sending an int signal, a signal called int, uh, to that process. You can also still send it with the kill po program uh, on Linux, but um, this is what we do when you press Ctrl C. Uh, in Perl, there is a hash called SIG with uh, capital SIG letters, and uh, the keys in that uh, hash are the signals available in your operating system. And specifically, there is the int signal. Uh, the, if, you get, if you assign a function to this uh, uh, hash key, then instead of uh, doing the default behavior of uh, this signal, meaning just quitting your program, Instead of that, this function is going to be executed whenever the user presses Ctrl C. So uh, by default, I guess this is just empty and it just exits the, uh, exits the, the, the code. But when you press Ctrl C after you assign this anonymous subroutine, so you see it's up anonymous because it doesn't have a name, then this subroutine will be executed. Uh, the first time it's going to be executed, it will uh, have the Ctrl C variable, which I, I created here, which is zero by default, will be zero, and so it, it's gonna be false. So this is gonna, not gonna be executed. Then we uh, execute the control C++, meaning increment this variable by one, and print out the message that you saw at the beginning. The next time, and then, then it, this function stops, so the loop continues running and printing out uh, the numbers. And the next time you press Ctrl C, uh, then we get a, again enter this function. This time Ctrl C, the variable already is one, so we get enter this uh, if condition, and then it's this printed, this message is printed, and we exit the program. Uh, this is all nice. You can actually change this to stop not only not after one, but maybe when Ctrl C is five to make people more annoyed. Uh, but what you might not like here is that this variable control C is uh, uh, global. So we can replace that by a state variable, a static variable, which in Perl is called state, uh, and move it inside a subroutine. So now it's only available inside this subroutine. But in order to do this, we'll also have to use 510 because it's only available starting from 510. And now if I run the program again, it behaves exactly the same. I press control C and I press Ctrl C again, and that's it. So enjoy uh, annoying your coworkers.